How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Today we're gonna go through this old dump of a house. We're gonna take everything out, we're gonna clean the rooms out, and we're gonna move one step closer to salvaging this old building, if that's possible. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, if you're new to what's going on here, Brooke and I bought this beautiful five acre piece of property with this dumpy old cabin on it. Now, the plan for today is to get all of the contents out of this house, to get the floors vacuumed up, and to at least get it down to a blank slate. So we can see what we have to do, we can see what we actually own now, and get an idea of what this project is going to look like going forward. Now, before we bought this property, we gave this cabin a walkthrough and got to see what we're actually getting, and what a horror show it was. Lots of porcupine manure, lots of dark corners, lots of creepy old furniture and cabinets, just kind of a dump. But structurally, it's fairly sound, and today we're gonna clean her out. Now, not only are Brooke and I gonna be working on this, but today our son Mick is coming out, and he's helping us get this place cleaned out. Nothing gets a teenager with a car more motivated than a $100 bill. And considering how foul of a job this is, I'm sure he's going to earn every penny. Just to stay out of each other's way and to keep the ball rolling, we all kind of gravitated towards our own little corners to work on. It's not like there's not enough to go around. Beds were a big deal. Not only did this cabin have two bedrooms, but each bedroom had two beds. And each bed had not only a mattress, but a box spring and a full set of bedding that probably hasn't been used for, I don't know, a decade, maybe two. And four bed frames, and under one of the bed frames was another bed frame. So, a lot of the clean out was just getting rid of the beds. Now my initial thought is, thankfully there's only one little piece of carpet in this place. But, ironically, when I pulled the carpet out, the floor underneath of it was fantastic. So it wouldn't have been terrible had there been carpet all through the house. Here's something that you don't see every day. Casserole pot full of porcupine poop. And speak of the devil, here he is right now. Now, I actually have a soft spot for porcupines. I don't know, I hold any grudges against this guy. But he's been living here forever. Oh, him and his cousins or his brother. He probably thinks his great granddad built that cabin. You know how family stories go. About every other time I come out here to the cabin, I see this guy. With three people working on this project, it seemed to go really fast. The dumpster filled right up, the house emptied right out, and we're in good shape. Well, there's a bunch of forest we need to get rid of. It's actually a screen for a screen door, but left outside. This set of kitchen cabinets was about the biggest thing that needed to come out of this house. But it wasn't too bad getting it out, and it fit through the door. And from the door, it was just a straight hike out to the dumpster. All in all, the clean out went about as good as you could hope it to. It's just work. Dirty, heavy, gross work. But in about half a day's time, we we're pretty much done. If you figure it took us four hours to clean the contents out of the house and vacuum the place up, I'm going to guess it's going to take another four hours to get the paneling off the wall. Well, that's only about a day's worth of work to get right down to the studs where we can start re-insulating and redoing the wall covering and building the place back to where it's something you'd actually want to be inside of. I'm just going to leave the shop vac here. Somebody steals it. They're welcome to it. The shop vac is full of the funkiest of funkies. That's where it's at, right there. The yard. My favorite part of this cabin is the location. It has a beautiful pine needle yard. This barbecue grill thing it needs to go because this spot looks like it's perfect for a fire pit. Pretty sure that's cemented in. I have to, I'll just hook the truck to it and yank it right out of there like a tooth. Pretty easy to envision a picnic table here. Nice little fire ring. It's just a good setting. Hard to believe it's even the same place. Behind the couch, there's a rotted out hole in the floor. Water damage under the windows. But honestly, none of that's a surprise. The windows are busted out and that's the west side of the building. Kitchen actually cleaned out fairly well. One back room. The room with the carpet in it turned out to have the cleanest floor under it. Go figure. Now that we own it, better lock it up. Yesterday I came out here to the property and I took down a 
half a mile of barbed wire fence. Chucked it on Facebook Marketplace for 80 bucks. So I've, we've recouped $80 of our purchase price. Brooke found the real treasure of this place. One of her subscribers uh, keyed her into this expensive coffee table. Who knew, man? It's a laying acclaim boomerang table worth a lot. This place has been vandalized a thousand times. It's the only thing in here worth any money. And nobody bothered it. So, here's where we're at. Place is cleaned out. All the furniture is out. All the cabinets are out. The old food is out. 50 pounds of porcupine manure is out. Pretty amazing what a dumpster, a generator, an old shop vac, a teenager, and a couple middle-aged people can do in about four and a half, five hours. I think today we've made a ton of progress. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for this part two of this cabin project. My name's Dave Whipple and you've been watching Bush Radical. And be radical, eh? See you soon. Mm -hmm.